Martin, huh? you want to go to the shed? Yeah. We'll stop picking your nose and come on then. Sponge Murphy here with another update finally for the hobby shed. Yeah? Yeah? Well, what about the gun? I'm here, look. Yeah. Where are we? Well, is that any red in the Yeah, say so we're in the shade. Is this daddy's shade? No, I am there. Oh, Martin's shade. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, quite a bit of an update since the last time. It was kind of hard to kind of fit everything in on this camera. Yeah, is it? But um, what? the inside is completely finished now. The only thing, if I can close this door, the only thing left to do really is to put up some shelves. So let me try and get a good look here. Here's the front, so you have the door there with your window. And I want to have the desk right here beside the window to get some natural light if I can. And uh, so you have a bit of space up there if I want to put anything. Uh, then on the left side here, we have all this space for posters or shelves or anything I want to put up but I think it's just going to be posters because I have my dartboard marked up here and I have it marked on the floor where Banjo is scratching, it's not scratching um, and then oh then like the desk will be here going across and have all this space here if I want to put like storage boxes on my warmer stuff my guitars literally anything whatever I want and um, we put one shelf up just as we were going along to see how it fits and it looks really nice so I'm going to be putting it the whole way across and then kind of closer to where the desk is I'm going to be putting smaller shelves up along here so I can put all my paints up there instead of keeping them in one box um, maybe do shelves for models to go on like whole units and everything uh, yeah that's pretty much it we have everything we finally got it took like three weekends because we kept buying wood these lads. What? I won. Did you win? I won me. Right fella. But we kept buying these lats and we kept like running out so we had to wait like another week to get like some more and they didn't have the 12 foot we had to get 8 foot. Then I had to bring it to my dad's shed to put like this see the edge on them so they look half decent. So yeah. You gonna clean the floor? Yeah. Yeah right fella you are. So like all that was done, I cleaned up, I took out all the bits of wood that are no good. These, these are all going to be used for something, like shelves or whatever. But I cleaned up all the sawdust, all the loose bits of wood that all got put in the fire. So all that's left is like these two boxes of tools blanked my dad. Um, do you mind? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why, why can't you go? Ba Banjo's in front of you, look. Huh? He's in front of you. Silly goose. We have his bench here. It's a bag there for like any odd bits of rubbish and his level and all these tools. I only have like a couple of tools which we didn't need to use. So uh, yeah, it's looking really good. I had two friends come up here. They really liked it. Um, I'm getting excited now. Like all I have to do now is just like, like you can see here, there's all like loose bits. I don't know if you can hear me with these two animals here. But like there's all like the wood is still a little bit rough. Like, you can see bits sticking out like that. And I think there's another yeah like up here. You can see like that. So I have to sand all this down just to get it nice and smooth. And then paint it off. So what's gonna be going on it is I'll show you out here. If I can open the door, which we have to fix. Uh this red wood protector stuff. That's what's on here is going on inside and I was going to do it like a brown colour but I think I might stick with the red um, and that all has to get done. So once, the, once it's painted on the inside uh, it's like 99% finished. The only thing I'm waiting on then is I have to buy like a 30 meter length of wire to go from the house up along the side fence. I'd imagine come up through here somewhere like put a socket here and have a wire going up along here for a light. Because I don't mind getting electricity, but it's just, like, I, I'm kind of getting lucky because it's near the summertime and we're getting to, like, the longer, brighter days. 
but anytime you come up here and it's slightly dark it's cold so you have to keep the door closed but you're letting you're not the light's not coming in so it's a real disadvantage with the light or without a light and obviously i don't have a i can't plug in the heater because it's like fucking freezing out here when uh you're out here closer to the evening time so um yeah i recorded some footage of us doing a bit of work when we're putting all these lats on the side here and when i say working i mean it looks like it's just me standing around with my hands in my pocket while my dad is working so uh yeah getting pretty excited i have plenty of plans i have some cool posters to put up some t-shirts which i probably have to put up on the ceiling as well because i don't want to run out of space i did plan on getting like a big bird cage but i'll just wait and see uh down the line how what where that will go what's wrong you don't want your brush all right then and obviously i want to have this little guy out here with me a good few times or most of the time so I'll have to set up a little area for him and his toys and everything if he wants. But as I said to the girlfriend, it's not a storage shade. It's my, I don't want to say man cave. I don't like, I hate that word man cave. But uh, like, like when it's finished, I'm getting like stuff done for my channel. There's a guy that I know that does like wall plaques. So I want to have like my channel logo on the piece of wood done up really nicely up on the wall and I'm wanting to like I got like the name of it for my YouTube stuff here is gonna be and let me know if you get this reference is Help Hit Studios. You know like I don't like when people say that the studio and it's just like working on a table, kitchen table or something. Like I've always wanted to have my own little area. And I don't mean that in a bad way, like I'm absolutely blessed to get this. Like it took a lot of time and it took a lot of scrimping and saving you know and if it wasn't for my dad i wouldn't have been able to do any of this and um, you know and i'm just happy that i can have my little studio area i can really put more effort into my videos and painting and everything you know i have my own nice setup so and this guy is gonna drive me mad out here martin what? say goodbye bye, bye. and uh yeah so i'll stay, I'll leave a bit of footage a bit of a kind of a quick lapse time thing to show us working a bit on the end here. I don't know what it was like because it's 12 by 8 and I was wanting to put the camera in the corner here and you can't really catch everything so I just left it in the corner recording while we were working away so hopefully you will enjoy it and uh, let me know, give me some feedback on the place and yeah so uh, thanks for watching hopefully you like Help Hit Studios Hopefully it will not blow off or blow down when some strong winds come. What are you doing? I want a chair. Oh, you break that wood now. I want a chair. That's a chair? Yeah. Alright then. So hopefully like it'll stand the test of time. This place is bit pretty sturdy. Uh, put me trust in my dad, just about. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below. Looking forward to some feedback on this. It's going to be pretty cool once it's finished. Yeah? Yeah, I'll sit down now in a second, alright? And uh, make sure to hit a like button as well. So uh, stay tuned for more updates when we get this painted and get electricity in. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's going to be awesome. Do you mind? Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.